Well, good morning, everybody. Game time, Brian, otherwise known as the mailman. Rise and grind, rise and grind on a Friday. It is Friday, the last day of the work week for a lot of you. Not game time. We work on Saturday. We work on Saturday, and we are out getting it done today. I'm right on time, but I'll be a couple minutes late when it's all said and done. But I'm on time. Actually, four, three minutes early. But we'll see. We shall see. The sun is out. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Not going to mess around today. But I'm tired, people. Can I tell you I'm tired? I'm tired of the cold, dreary rain. Um, supposed to be... 51 all day today and partly sunny. No rain. Maybe a, a chance of a shower later this afternoon. Um, so yeah, I'm looking good. You know, <laughs> real quick, and I don't even know what I'm going to talk about in this video. Sorry. You know, just, you know, for the people who just want the content, you know, just talk about football. No. You know, keep scrolling. If you don't know what I, I do or want to hear my how my day's going, then hit the road <laughs> but anyway oh here you go here you go a little a little military action there it is oh I got a little a little spillage a little spillage so I'm doing well I hope everybody else is doing good today it is Friday for you guys I'm happy I do that at work tomorrow and um, I gotta set the, I have the thumbnails I gotta set the streams up for Oh, sh I just realized something. I just realized. I'm streaming WrestleMania and Primetime has a show. Ooh, that's... I'm going to have to remind him. <laughs> I'm going to have to remind him. He may have to have a, a fill-in for tomorrow night. Forgot about that. I forgot all about that. So, I'll have to remind Phil. He gonna have to have a sub. Maybe Mark will sub with him, or maybe somebody will hop on the show with him. I'm streaming WrestleMania Saturday night. Maybe we can move it to Friday night, tomorrow night. That might be the plan, baby. That might be the plan. I think he'll want to do it because he wants to watch WrestleMania as well. But anyway, just saw the um, details of what Houston did to Diggs' contract. Dig, uh, they voided. They just threw out the last three years of the deal. Paid him his bonuses that he was going to get next year into this year. And after this year... Stephon Diggs is an unrestricted free agent. <laughs> what? Why would they do that? Adding more pro... Uh, yeah. Yes. This is what I love, people. I'm not even putting on the sunglasses. I'm just going to... I'm going to power through this shit. Whew. Yes. Even now, steering wheel is still freezing. So, but yeah, so I, I found that very interesting that Stefan Diggs' deal is up after this year. Now, they are getting picks in return, and if they lose them in free agency, they'll get a three or a four, depending on the contract. You know, um, we'll see. You know, Diggs is, he wants that money, so we'll see next year this time. So, listen, Eastside Harold, I like the move. This is why I like it from the... Everybody says Houston's all great and all. They're going all in. I think they're going all in for this year. I really do. And, I, and I'm and i rooting for them. But, um... Diggs can be volatile. If C.J. Stroud runs into that sophomore slump like most... Now, they're putting so much talent around him, east side, that I don't know... Um... It might be a Jalen Hurts-ish year from two years ago where they put so much talent around Jalen Hurts that he thrived. He, shout out to him. 
you know? He thrived with all that talent. Kind of like Brock Purdy did all the way to the Super Bowl last year. C.J. Stroud, is he going to the Super Bowl next year? Either way, this is an all-in move by the Texans, but I find it interesting. But in a way, I would say the pros of, or the negative is, what? You're giving up a second round pick potentially? And a fifth? I know you're getting back like a sixth or something. I mean, whatever, whatever. Um, the negative is you got to lock him up longer term. You gave up a, a decent amount of capital in this day and age and pay the player. All right, we got a lot of traffic here. I don't want to be pulling no Rasheed Rice. There it is. In my uh, Ford Explorer. But, um... Yeah, so that would be the negative would be, well, you know, you got to keep them longer than one year and have more assurances of what you gave up. But Texans are smart with getting back stuff, and they're already projecting out that they could get a third round at best, most likely a fourth round draft pick next year. So, yeah, or in two years, actually. Um, so that would be the negative. The pros is you got them on a one-year deal, a prove it deal, and you know Stefan Diggs is going to want to ball out, assuming he gets the ball. Okay, just just think, people. The Houston Texans were in on Saquon Barkley when he shunned them and stayed with the Eagles. Probably a mistake, Saquon. Just saying, probably a mistake. I know you wanted to, he wanted to stay close to home. Don't get too carried away, Eagles fans. He didn't come, he is not staying with the Eagles because he loved the organization. Not that the Eagles haven't had their way with the Giants, because they've had, but so have they, so have a lot of organizations. Um, he just didn't want to leave home. And that's that's cool. But if you're looking at winning and winning right now, I think Houston, Texas might have been the way to go, bro. But hey, I think they got a better all-around back in mixing anyway with Houston. Uh, I was on record saying I loved Mixon when he was released. Um, not a, not as injured. Uh, three down back. I love me some Joe Mixon. So, whatever. This isn't a shit the Eagles video. I'm just saying. Texans are going all in, people. They are the best team in Texas right now for my money. Sorry. Until Dallas does something. Um... I'm not talking regular season wins either. Re yeah, regular season wins are great. The regular season wins uh, don't bring home the bacon. You know, that just gets everybody's mouth wet. You're wet. You know what I mean? That's just like an appetizer. I'm ready for the. I'm ready for the steak, and uh, all of a sudden they pull out a a bowl of limp lettuce. Say so here, mm, enjoy. So. Interesting, interesting move on the Diggs thing. Uh, as we sit here today, April 5th, um, wow, wow. We are we will be knee-deep into the NFL draft at this point. Uh, in three weeks, we'll be there. Um, looking forward to it, as always. I'm weird. I look forward to things, and then as they get closer... I get a little anxiety of, uh, I gotta, I, I mean, I gotta pack, I gotta get the rental car, I gotta do this, I gotta make sure of this, I gotta make sure of that. Yeah, you, my mind gets flooded with a thousand things. That's the only part of travel that I don't like. I wish I could be one of those people who just throw a few things in the suitcase and say, let's ride, but that's just not the way I am. I like to make sure I have everything, and I always seem to... Yeah, you know, to forget something. I've learned how to write things down. But um, just want to re uh, reiterate that the Cowboys um, are not going to be trading Dak Prescott at this point. I talked to a few people, and um, they're not going to pull the trigger on that. And I'm okay with it under one assumption that they bring Dak Prescott back on a long-term deal. That's the only thing that makes sense. I know there's a lot of anti-Dak. He can't win in the playoffs. I get it. You guys are right. 
You guys are right in he hasn't done it, but we do have Trey Lance here. So it'll be interest, interesting to see how that plays out. Um, you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen, okay? He's going to go. He's going to ball out this year. We'll win nine games, maybe ten if we're lucky. He's going to leave in free agency. And we're going to look back on this year saying, if you only had a pair of stones, you should have traded him or tried to really try to sit down and work something out to help your organization. But this organization is so stubborn that they don't want to do that. You know, now we're starting to hear, ooh, Zeke Elliott's coming home. Okay, who gives a crap? I understand Zeke. Nothing against Zeke and, I, uh, and all my Zeke people. I'm not, like, crapping on Zeke. But don't sit here and tell me he's the move. Zeke is an afterthought. Sorry. We're supposed to be drafting a young one. How many running backs do you want to have? You want to bring Zeke back after the draft? Fine. Fine. So that tells me you're not going to roll with Hunter Lepke. Deuce Vaughn, was that a wasted pick? You got Rico, Rico Dowdle, Malik Davis. I mean, you signed the other guy. Uh, he's that big boy that I did a video on that I can't seem to remember his name. Come on, people. This person keeps putting on their blinker and then go straight, blinker, and then straight, and then blinker. Yeah, how, how much you on the best you're going to turn here? Yeah, there she goes. Pick a spot. This dude's all over the place better turn. You better turn. Alright, I'm a little I'm I'm a little ornery this morning. Lord have mercy. Anyway, um so yeah I mean we're not making any draft day trades. I'm still gonna bring the lollipops though. Ultra Cowboy, I do wanna hang out buddy. I know you're a little upset with the mods. Please uh, reach out to me. It would be cool to hang out. At least for a little bit, I'll buy you a drink. Listen, man, when I started this channel, uh, like the first uh, thing I did was add a bunch of mods, and I told them that they were in on the ground level. You know, it is what it is, man. Uh, Brad's a big supporter of the channel, so um, yeah, at the end of the day, Brad's not going anywhere. So. Um, we all have our own issues. I have mine, trust me. So, um, just like people to be respectful. You know, you guys can hate Dak or like Dak. I don't care. I'm I'm down the middle. I actually like the star on the side of the helmet. So, the hate kind of goes away for me. And it's more like, hey, let's just do what's best for the team. If what's best for the team is, is to keep Dak... And have Trey Lance compete with his ass and let the best man win, then let's go. And maybe that's the road that we're going down this year. Maybe Dak stays. Maybe they really give Trey Lance a hard look next to Dak in every practice and give him the reps. There might be something there, people. You know how that works. You know how that works. So that'll be interesting to see. It really would be interesting to see what's going to happen there. Another traffic. You know, see, this is what happens, people. I was on time. I was on time. But, yes, we're less than three weeks like away from the draft. I'm getting excited. Um, I would really hope to meet up with a few of you guys and gals. Guys and gals. It would be fun to hang out. We will be live streaming from somewhere during the draft. It, I mean, we'll be at the draft, but I mean, somewhere within the, the confines of the draft. Hopefully the Wi-Fi is good. I'll make sure I bring my uh, my little box that gives me Wi-Fi. It worked decently for me and Phil last year. Um, yeah, so that's the deal, people. Uh, don't forget my 2 p.m. live stream. Um, live from the mail truck. 2 p.m. Um... They're blocking. These people are blocking the spot. <laughs> game time ain't playing game tonight. But anyway, all right, people. Don't forget, to, uh, to 2 15 depending on the mail volume, I will be live in the mail truck. Uh, I'd like to see some new faces, if at all possible. But, um, yes, please um, check me out. Game time, Brian. Late.